I uh, I made dozens and dozens of vlogs that I uh, uh, YouTube allows you to set them up where you uh, release them in the future. So I don't know if you guys, anybody who uh, follows me, people come in and out. If you don't have time to watch them, that's totally fine. I, I do a lot of these. I look at them like a message in a bottle, really. Because YouTube's so vast, but also I look at them really shooting them towards the future in a way, uh, just for the hell of it, I guess, really. But if you think about it, uh, there's kind of a rhyme to my reason or a reason to my rhymes. That's very rapper esque, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to go outside in a bit, but uh, yeah, I mean, in the vast ocean of time, if you look at it, um, you know, there's people are drawn to know where they come from and the success of all of these, you know, who are you or who do you think you are type shows, whatever, and Ancestry.com. Um, if you make vlogs now, this is the first generation really where this technology, and it's very primitive compared to even like 10 years from now, this is the first generation where this technology is available. So, uh, it, uh, I'm going to see if I can get my aspirin, the thing which is keeping me alive, and uh, stuff going here, but uh, so in, uh, it's a strong draw, and this is the first generation where this technology is available to us, and all of these files are being archived. There are 48 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every hour. And they're archiving this. It, uh, there's a lot to be said on that alone. Uh, but uh, these will be available, and there'll probably be some kind of law or something passed, or how they're handled at some point. I'm gonna futurize people. The future, so you know, you can tune out now or whatever. You may think Eric has gone completely mad, and I. I think that happened a long time ago, so, um, but the, uh, I was planning on going outside, but I don't want to be disturbed, so, uh, I don't know who's out here. Yeah, I mean, you'll be the first of your line in a thousand years. People will be doing research or a hundred years. Not that our lives were all that unique or different or important but maybe they were who knows you know <laughs> but if I could look right now I would have looked a long time ago at my furthest back relative and video of what this person who they were what they were like you know and uh, so if you make a vlog you'll be the first person in your line I mean you know they'll be in that and then they won't use computers in the future I mean they will but it'll be you'll access it probably just by thinking within a hundred years and we'll all be connected together uh, at all times. Sort of like telephone, television, and radio, and, and the internet, and, and, and graphics, and press, and editing all combined into one thing, instant, worldwide. Hope they make a block button. <laughs> but you know, in the future, they'll be curious at times and so in a thousand years there will be several thousand people that are related to me I have a son and a, and a daughter so um, let's see if I can go outside so you know beyond in time beyond me they'll search back and of course the most interesting ones will be the ones with video how they really lived which uh, in my case it uh, turned out curious to say the least I also do music there, people in the future. You might want to check that out. It's uh, somewhat interesting. <laughs> but uh, let's see who's out here. Oh, it's cloudy out. I like that. So, uh, I'm the crazy guy who walks around carrying a stick, talking to himself. That's how the neighbors perceive us. But, uh, Oh man, it, um, it's the kind of deal where, you know, you're doing your research and most of the people will end up with us because we're the first video people that they can really relate, you know, get a grasp of who we were 
beyond me there will be text documents and photographs of uh, some of my ancestors but they'll you know they'll stop with us so that's one aspect I look at these like messages in a bottle and uh, I uh, there's so much there I don't know if you guys follow Ray Kurzweil he, he invented a lot of technology that we use uh, in, in computers and music and the two brought together quite handily but he does a lot of future futurized future theory stuff 542 in um, people of the future this is my environment we still have breathable air and uh, <laughs> I imagine you guys have solved that problem that whole global warming thing turned out to be kind of a drag but you solved that too <laughs> um, but eventually uh, what's happening in the beginnings of YouTube it sort of plays on a, a deeply ingrained uh, drive we have to find out who we are and also to communicate with each other and to sort of show each other you know how we feel about things and see things that's one been one of the funnest things about this experience I've, I've been making videos and first songs and then videos to go with them and uh, recording it all the parts myself and performing it and producing it all myself all alone <laughs> and uh, and then finding videos to go with them so one of the neat things some of them have come out really epic you know awesome not 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 everything believe me I do like one a day now or two a day only about one every other day I upload is uh, worth it but to show people how I experienced you know certain songs how they made me feel what I kind of images they conjured and uh, then to have other people around the world sort of get it and resonate with that and don't they don't want to argue about it they just uh, they get it and they you know they they post things that tell me that and really, you know, that's the reason, as far as art, I mean, why do people do art? We're trying to communicate on a, uh, a deeper level with, uh, with each other to say, to, to show each other, you know, who we are, you know, to say, hey, this is who I am, this is how I experience things, um, you know, join me and, uh, it, you know, see, check out how I experience this, and there's a lot of Jungian ar archetypes. You know, people experience things kind of similarly. Certain sounds and sights conjure up the same emotions in us all. I mean, but uh, YouTube is the beginning of a worldwide communication network that's instantaneous, where. I mean, the future's coming. It's such incredible stuff. And this isn't stuff that I think is going to happen or is like, it, yeah, I know it'll sound so far out there. Most people will go, oh, he's just lost his mind. But uh, I have a, uh, oh, there's Mike the drug addict going by. He bought into uh, Better Living Through Chemistry. <laughs> he's, uh, anyway, um, I understand it because I was there for a while. I thought all the answers were in uh, in big pharma and opiates and, and anything that alters your mind. Now I realize you're not really alive when you live that way. You're sort of, but and you're you're really not in touch with the reason we're here, which is to be consciously aware of reality and and learn to deal with it. Um, I'm a flighty sucker myself. Where is he? There he is. That's some kind of... I don't have my glasses on. Beautiful clouds today. But, um... Yeah, I mean, eventually... You know, scientists have already developed that. Uh, where am I at? 946? I'll try not to go any more than 15 on this. Maybe 11. I don't know. Scientists that, uh... Um...
I want to give you the university because it's a breakthrough thing. Um, Carnegie Mellon, they have figured out how to decode nouns for the human brain. You, they, they can hook electrodes to a person, and the computer has, they put them on their head for now. It'll be done from satellites eventually. They put electrodes on a person's head and tell them, and tell them to think about a hammer or show the person a picture of a hammer. Now, the computer has no camera or no microphone, just the electrodes. In 100% of the cases, they, uh, the computer will say and flash a picture of a hammer when somebody thinks about it. They've done that with now. I checked several years ago that they were up to 400 and uh, nouns and uh, probably up to 4,000 now. A lot of this is based on the power of computers. But anyway, I see no reason why every thought in your brain, and it will be and it is happening now, can't be read, stored, and archived and read from satellite easily, or it doesn't matter. The speed of light has always sort of vexed people in this. I'm futurizing now, so give me a break. <laughs> this is stuff that's so obvious it's happening. I mean, I once, if you crunch any numbers or work in, in hard science as, as uh, I have, or uh, um, I would go on about my advanced degrees here, but that, that really annoys me in mean, people. Um, I once set a calculation going when I was in college, and it took my computer at the time. I failed the test. Or, well, did I? I did probably. Anyway, I had to have a calculation done. I decided to let my computer, for a test, I decided to let my computer at the time do it. And six weeks later, it gave me the answer. Well, the test was due in about three days, but I, I went on vacation and let it crunch that anyway I did something I don't know as a kid we went screwing around and you know partying and <laughs> drinking and shit but I I think I accidentally let the computer solve the equation it took like six weeks but it did my computer now can can solve a billion of those equations in less than a second it's crazy um, same equation around three seconds so uh, but when you're figuring stuff out, like you need a genetic sequence, or you need uh, an electronic schematic, or you need anything to figure out advancements in technology, it's computer-based. If you need to figure out how to make a faster computer, which is basically what's happening, um, you can use a computer to figure out how to make a faster computer and that process gets faster exponentially it's reflected in the world all the time so uh, I've never seen that person that looks like someone who's actually below 90 but um, so eventually and where am I at 13 I'll go 15 and quit check out Ray Kurzweil but all this stuff is happening, and, and YouTube's the beginning of a network of people worldwide that's connected instantaneously. That, and pretty soon they will be able to. Scientists also have also developed in, in mice red blood cells that do a much better job than the natural ones. And uh, it's not a far. They, and this stuff's going on with humans. Trust me. Uh, but the mice can store oxygen so well and do everything the red blood cells need to do. I mean, they can stay underwater almost indefinitely. It's crazy uh, with nanotechnology. But eventually we'll be able to sort of put the mute button uh, on our nervous systems locally and put that out there for other people to link into so they can see, hear, feel what you're feeling or what you're remembering or what you're sensing. And... Um, because man is at the heart, the, the basic human animal. The human animal has three basic needs, uh, according to the World Health Organization anyway. Your health is defined by your physical health, your mental health, and your social health. We're a social animal. We're driven to be social. That's what YouTube is all about. 
but social implies sharing of complex ideas but anyway yeah you'll be able to mute your nervous system and uh, uh, locally or not and project that so other people can sort of monitor like watching a movie monitor everything you think hear feel see and uh, somebody spam the shit out of me <laughs> and uh, there will be uh-huh okay I know this Twitter seems to be sending out more spam I think it's it's time it's probably coming past but uh, oh there's such a world a world ahead but yeah if you make these vlogs now in 10,000 years if and I think the race will survive with a few baubles um, man is cockroach of the universe um, but they're getting better um oh, cool time shower time uh i think uh, you know i can see all of this technology is progressing and it and it progresses exponentially and it does so every 12 to 18 months the power of computing and that's the key to everything um but um in the future we'll you know it, all this stuff's happening now and we'll we will be able to be uh, everything I am imagine if those red blood cells for instance imagine if I have which I have many medical problems it's a bummer I'm not gonna make it to Ray Kurzweil's bridge to a bridge neither is he unfortunately read about the bridge to a bridge um, but imagine if I replace small parts of myself my consciousness intact with nanotechnology um, all stuff that's coming or already exists the blood cells but imagine I replace the blood cells and then the white blood cells and then the bone cells and then the skins at some and brain cells which all of this is so feasible it's crazy it, oh, it's insane I'm telling you I'm telling you, but it's happening and you can either accept it or deny it I think this is what uh, I hesitate to say God intended for us to flourish and probably one day join him. <laughs> it's just the way things are since they bit into that apple in Eden. Um, but imagine if uh, you're, uh, I replace the cells in my body with nanotechnology. This will be possible, not now, not now, but in the future. At what point, and all my cells are replaced, but my consciousness, which is the key to all of this, it's not really how did life begin, but how did consciousness begin? If I had to do it all over again, I'd be a scientist that studied the nature of consciousness. The speed of light, I was going to say, will transcend that. Who cares about the speed of light? The speed of thought is faster to be able to beam your consciousness to anywhere in the universe. You, you don't need the speed of light. It's meaning. It's a meaningless standard, suddenly. Um, but at what point am I no longer... Uh, Ray Kurzweil says that robots eventually will petition the courts for the right to be called uh, sentient beings or human. <laughs> I, I agree, you know, that, that'll happen. So if I replace all my cells, at what point my consciousness is still there? It's still me, and I, cannot even, I can't even tell the difference. At what point am I no longer human? At what point have I made the change over? And since they're all now artificial or nanotechnology, along with genetic engineering and other, my area, especially electromagnetic spectrum advancements, I mean, sky's the limit. I don't see any problem with backing up who I am and then injecting it into this worldwide. I don't even need a body anymore. Nobody does injecting it into this network. It's all coming. It's happening. One world government. Who cares? Probably best. Probably for the best. Yes, there's some dangers. Um, but uh, these things need to be looked at and monitored with a sober mind. But it's happening. It's coming. It helps to just accept it, utilize it, and then move on. So there you go. So I don't have to do any editing here in the present. People who are watching this in the future. <laughs>
Uh, at least I realized what was happening. I was the first of my line. I, I do a thing on my vlogs here in my future, now your distant past relatives, or just other curious scientists and so on. Do some research. Google around on me. Do some research. I was quite a guy. <laughs> That's always hard to say. I was quite a guy, people. Impressive son of a you know. Um, Google around. That is probably a defunct term. Um, yeah, at least I realized what was happening. And, uh, what do you say to people? I'm not saying I'll be famous in the future. I think I'm saying quite a few people over a span of time will, will just out of curiosity, look up and I'll be the first relative there that has video up and just happen to be a, uh, a scientist somewhat mad, <laughs> admittedly. Uh, and, uh, among other things. What was that I wanted to put on my damn grave? I think it's supposed to say there won't be one for me. Which is okay. That's fine. It's better that way. <laughs> um, writing your own epitaph. I wanted to say uh, a man of art and science. <laughs> Clever. Catchy. Now, you people in the future, get a damn job because you're spending way too much time online. I guess things aren't all that bad. Vlog ending. Well, since my dad was kind of a dick, I'll do the, uh, for the people of the present and distant future. My dad was kind of a dick. I'll do the supportive parent ending. It goes like this. Now, people in the future probably have no sense of humor left. Maybe. Maybe a highly evolved one. Anyway, it goes like this. Well, I suppose you're going to fuck this up like you do everything else.